Hi, my name is Russell Mott from ATAS UK. I'm an independent auditor and trainer and assessor, predominantly active within the construction and specialist sector, uh, and mainly focus around building services. Uh, and today I'm doing a short video just to uh, enable um, remote auditing on site. And I'm here today at a small domestic dwelling, and hopefully this is gonna give you some hints and tips on how you can encourage uh, the auditee to go round and get that vital information um, when we're trying to do a, a remote audit, in this case of completed works, uh, mainly driven around um, technical competence and compliance with the building regs. So first off, I just wanted to cover, um, it's probably worth always trying to give some background information to the project. Each bungalow recently been refurbished uh, with a complete new boiler and electrical system. So just going to go into the dwelling now. So as I mentioned, outside we're in a um, small detached bungalow, a domestic premises, and really what I want to focus on now is just giving you some hints and tips on how we can do a quick walkthrough, talk through, um, and encourage that auditee to get as much vital information as possible uh, when doing a quick site tour, in this case of completed works. One of the most important things to start with, I've got my smartphone here, uh, smartphone in relation to camera, which I'm now going to fire up, and then we're going to go to video mode. It's very important that we take this video using the vertical plane uh, of the device, so that when it's uploaded and played back, it's of the right orientation. So, I'm now going to start the video, and then we're going to actually just go round and to general walkthrough, talk through, and really try and focus on some of the technical things uh, that have gone on in this domestic dwelling. This um, whole property was signed off uh, by Building Control uh, a few months ago. So today we're just gonna focus on uh, the, the gas boiler and the electrical system uh, and keep it short and sweet. Biggest tip for a walkthrough, talk through video is probably no more than 10 minutes. Okay, so hopefully you can see that and you'll be looking at the ladder, uh, which I'm going to go up into the loft as well because there is a vertical flue in this case. So, going to hit the record button now. So remember when we're outside, you do want to continue that outside and do that. So my advice would be is um, as you approach the site, whether that be a domestic site or a commercial site, um, encourage your auditee to shoot the video. Vertical plane, as I said earlier, but also make sure that um, there is a description and a background so you, the auditor can get a bit of a real feel for the sort of dwelling, non-dwelling that he or she is looking at. So you can use the, the early stages of the, the video to do that. So, as I mentioned earlier, we hit the record button now and literally we're going to do a walkthrough talk through. So, as I mentioned, this was signed off, so I'm going to cover the electrical side very, very briefly first. Uh, obviously, we've got smart meter installed here. Uh, and you can see we've got a new consumer unit. This new consumer unit uh, is all compliant with um, BS7671, the wiring regulations. Uh, as you can see, all of the residual circuit breakers um, are installed. You've got two RCD circuits there, and also surge protection as well. So that's right up to the current edition. Um, I'm not going to go too much uh, for the sake of this video, video on all of the compliance documents. I will touch briefly at the end, but these obviously you'd want to see in some kind of evidence, either pre or post audit. So that's the electrical installation there. So I'm going to walk through um, into the cupboard where we have a combination boiler being installed. Uh, these were both installed at a similar time. So again, to give those hints and tips to your order, t order T to give you the right information, we want a really good description of what's being going. This is a 24 kilowatt combination boiler. As you can see, uh, heat line, a Capri 24 kilowatt. Uh, you'll notice time controls, but I will update you on uh, obviously Boiler Plus, which is part of the building regulations when a combination uh, boiler is installed. So Capri 24 kilowatt boiler. We've got smart controls here. We've got a wireless receiver, a fuse spur. So the wiring all looks very good and in good condition. We've got a blank top spur there, not too sure what that is. We have a filling loop, uh, which obviously tops the boiler up. We can clearly see here that we have uh, a Tundish 
front discharged from the boiler, so the temperature and pressure relief valve, if that went off, would naturally um, disperse through the tun dish so it's visible, and then out to drain. You can see the plastic pipe work going through, and that goes out and connects to the four inch stack, so that is all currently compliant. Ideally, filling loops shouldn't be left on, they should be taken off. Um, but we do find that quite often, uh, but you could raise that as an observation. Uh, all of the pipe work is very good condition actually. Uh, the soldering is all in good. The clips that are installed clearly demonstrate that everything there is nice and tidy. Uh, the pipes are all aligned quite well. You've got the plastic connector coming out um, from the condensing part of the boiler too there, which also goes to drain. Um, so everything is fairly compliant as far as one can see there. The bottom end there, you can just see the cold water mains coming in. Uh, and this here is a cold water that is going up into the loft, which I shall show you shortly. So overall, a good installation. Um, no real technical issues uh, with this installation. You will also note that there is a hot water service pipe going through into the loft space and the flue also goes into the loft space too. So there's a good description of the boiler. Um, note the radiator on the wall. Uh, all of the radiators in this dwelling uh, have got thermostatic radio control valves, TRVs. As you can see here, it's part of the building regulations too. I've already checked all the other livable space. And TRVs uh, subject to the bathrooms and towel rails uh, are all fitted. Here we have smart controls. Now this is the Hive system here. I showed you the wireless receiver earlier. Uh, this is the Hive controls. They are all in operation as you can see. Uh, controls are quite essential. We want the order T to make sure that they're, they're giving us close up so we can actually see they're functioning. As you can see here, I'll press that again. We've got obviously the temperature target. Now it's very important on a combination boiler if I was the auditor in this case, the, aud the auditor in this case, I'd be looking for Boiler Plus, which is all uh, compliance with the current building regulations. So if we hadn't had smart controls or one of the other um, variations that need to be added, this wouldn't have been compliant with the building regulations. So smart control is quite essential in this case. Um, just to support some of the electrical stuff, we have here switched off at the moment and on standby, but we have a uh, electric underfloor heating system here. Uh, generally just to take uh, the coldness of the tiles in both the bathrooms. The main bathroom was all signed off under Part G regulations uh, for plumbing. Uh, I'm not going to dwell too much on that because it's fairly straightforward there. Focus is really on the boiler and the gas installations and electrical but the, this element was also signed off under building control. going to go through to one of the main rooms again livable space here we've got two convector radiators and just to confirm as well here here we have uh, thermostatic valves so I'm not just showing just one room I've actually covered two rooms to make sure that um, we meet the building regulations with regard to this installation and then behind the plant there We've got the lock shield, but the other side there is a TRV. Um, now just briefly, I've got out here all of the information, naturally in handover procedures, uh, you expect a lot of documentation to be um, at the client end, in this case the domestic client. So um, I've asked for this to be produced. Uh, one point to note here actually, a non-conformity would be raised because the benchmark certificate uh, hasn't been completed so we do want to promote documentation I've also got compliance certificates here um, for the self certification of the electrical and also um, the boiler as well so um, all compliant with building regulations but a very very common flaw here is benchmark not completed so we do want to encourage our order T's to um, try and get as much documentation out so we can see that it's there on site uh, and obviously 
we'd drill down into uh, more documents required and perhaps ask for further if we can't. But some of these documents won't be available anywhere else other than on site, and in this case, in the domestic premises. Uh, one tip I would say as well, just quickly going back to the boiler cupboard, um, we don't want to see a load of clutter in plant rooms or boiler housings or cupboards in this case. Um, clear video without anything sort of um, in our way that's going to uh, compromise what we can physically see because as you can see there as I'm standing now we've got a really good clear view um, of that boiler installation.